Suns stream. I'm your host, Michael Cody, associate producer on Marvel Midnight Suns. And with me, I have creative director, Jake Solomon. Hi. I'm and so excited. I know I'm interrupting. I'm just very excited <laughs> to be here for our last stream before launch. I'm sorry yeah. to cut you off, Joe. Yeah. And, you know and of I course, love you, man. Michael's Cody's going to introduce of, me. Of course, we have a uh, lead designer, Joe Weinhofer. Hello, everyone. Well. Glad to be back. Very, cool. very excited to be here this week. It's a very exciting time. Woo! We got a lot of stuff to show today. Yep. Yeah. Secrets yes, we do. And secrets and lies. Yep. Yeah. And, lies. and so before we go ahead and talk about all that stuff, just remember that Marvel's Midnight Suns comes out this Friday, December the 2nd. It's, it's like days. three days so left. Um, and go ahead and go to the, you can go to the website to midnightsuns.com today.com to go ahead and uh, check all the information on the game. Um, but now we are going to go ahead and I believe go to a new trailer. Awesome. So I'm going to cue that up. Awesome. The little sorcerer returns home. Already the power of the sanctum returns to me. Your days of plundering its secrets end today! But that was never the plan. Now. Yes, Mother. No! We're losing her! Doc, come on! We have to go! <clears throat> Believe if you must! I can hold it! Like hell you can! Sanctum is gone. We did everything we could, and it still wasn't enough. We need to plan for what comes next. What's next? Armageddon has already happened, caretaker. What's next is hell. Lilith's darkness has been released fully into the world, expected to fall city by city, nation by nation. Surrender. Or be destroyed. I am just getting started. Ooh, that is yeah. so that was that was an awesome trailer. Spoilers, oh God. Yeah, yeah. Spoilers. Spoilers before that. Bro, spoiler. Oh my man. gosh. Cool. The so, cinematics are just yep. yeah, they're incredible. So, so I guess so what we're going to do today, of course, right, is reveal the thirteenth hero. Yeah. 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 I guess it's time, right? We yeah. we've gotten all the way here, and we still haven't talked about the thirteenth hero. So I mean, I guess I feel like we're kind of giving away right. here with right. our camera shots. But yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, not just revealing the thirteenth hero, yeah. which is the Hulk. The, Hulk. the Incredible oh, Hulk yeah. is our thirteenth playable hero on our roster for yeah. the Midnight right. Suns. And so Joe we're so to... excited to have him in the game uh, playable. So not only would you fight him as Fallen Hulk, as our you know demonic villain, uh, you eventually get him on your roster and we'll be able to play as him as well. Very, very eventually. Very, very, very eventually. 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 Yes, he's very, very late game he's a, unlocked. he's a tough one to unlock. So. Yeah. Okay. No. But what, quick question. So, like, why did we go with the Hulk? Uh, I think for a couple of reasons, right? So I think redemption is, is a part of our story. Mm -hmm. um, and so you'll see that, you know, we, we've shown that, that Wanda is, and this is, you know, um, uh, part of her typical story in the comics, right? She, she's on, um, she's sort of on both sides. Right. And so the player has the opportunity to um, redeem some characters 
some of um, the, the heroes that were corrupted by Lilith. And also, um, the Hulk allows us to, because we unlocked them so late in the game, we've, uh, we've been able to make the Hulk kind of nuts, which Joe yeah. is going to show, right? Joe's going to yes. show us how nuts the Hulk can be. Yeah. I should also a say, bit overpowered. after Joe... Joe shows the Hulk off in, yep, in right. all of his, his giant green glory, um, then I am going to play a mission on the hardest difficulty in the game called Ultimate 3, and I'm probably going to get spanked. I'm probably going to get oh, smacked around it's be great. I think that's fine. This. You by I'm Joe, and play. I'm probably also going to lose the mission. <laughs> Who knows? Both of those could but, happen. Yeah. I was going to say, if you, if you pass it, how many stars do you think you're going to get? Uh, oh, one. one star. I don't know. Yeah, Probably one. I'm pretty sure people are going to be hard to get multiple stars on ultimate missions, but we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? All, right. All right. So should we kick it off? Yeah, yeah let's, do it. let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let's so, see the Hulk. Yep. All right. While we're getting this ready, we're going to go ahead, and uh, I'm just going to let you know. Go ahead. Go to midnightsuns.uk. Dot uh, dot two k. Dot com to check out all the info on the game. If and you go to UK.com, you'll get <laughs> the info. Same, probably the same thing, yeah. yeah. Um, and just remember, yeah, December 2nd. Yeah, this Friday, yep. three days from now, the game will Hello, be love. live Would you like for to buy everyone. Midnight Suns? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. It's, it's the last live cool. stream, man. Yeah, cool. I don't care. We're going to go off the rails today. It's fine. Right. It's I'm been in the bag. It's, it's fine. Cool we're going to get into this mission, right? Yeah, yeah. All, All right, cool. Let's, yeah, let's go for it. So... The way that Hulk works in combat, um, the way that we've designed him, he has a mechanic called Rage. So okay. as he takes damage, he will slowly build up his, or whenever he takes damage, he gains a point of Rage and that increases his damage. So if you max out his Rage meter, all of his abilities get a huge, huge damage. Okay. Very That's hulky, right? Very, so very hulky. When he takes damage, he gets angry, he gets, he gets angry. stronger. The, start, the angrier he is, the stronger he is. So that is what okay. Rage exemplifies. Very, very canon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you want Hulk to be taking damage in order to boost his rage and get as much damage as possible. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a fine line to walk because you don't want him to get, take so much damage that he gets KO'd. And right. then whenever you use Hulk abilities, his rage gets decreased. So right. playing an attack, playing a an heroic ability will spend one rage if you have it to consume. So okay. you want to basically have him take a bunch of attacks and damage juice up his abilities to really, really high levels, and then you can start basically just unleash him as long as you can keep him alive. That's the key. Yeah, okay. So let's, yeah, so let's dive in. So this mission, this is a late game mission. So mm -hmm. we said Hulk only is available at the very, very end of the story, basically right before the final mission, you'll get him on the roster. And then of course you can use him, you know, post game in our, our end game mode, which we'll talk about a bit later or yep. in new game plus. Um, so this mission, I've got a bunch of his kind of common and rare starting abilities. They've all been upgraded. All the other heroes are upgraded. We've got Nico and Spider-Man here. So they're pretty powerful as well. But let's go ahead and get started here. So I've got a sweep enemy with some Lillen, and let's show off Hulk's probably right. his base, most basic attack is Smash, which applies stun. None of our other heroes have direct like application of stun on a basic attack. It's something that we use for Hulk. He's got a couple different abilities that can stun enemies okay. and then capitalize on attacking stunned enemies. Um, and then of course with his rage. So let's go ahead and yeah, so we'll, we'll generate one rage here. Normally, rage is spent from playing attacks, but in this case, Smash works a little bit differently. So now you can see Hulk's got one rage. His office has been increased by about 29%, so he's got a big damage boost here. Okay. All right, so I know last time I was on playing, I got kind of swarmed by these Dark Legions, so I want a way to take them out quickly. Right. And it, oh, it looks like, all right, so Spider-Man actually came in with a combat bonus here. So we started with four heroism, so I can actually play this hero combo right away. So you know what? I'm not going to take any chances. We're just going to take this oh, Dark Legion Joe, out right you're now. Oh, scarred from the last <laughs> uh, mission. You know, a little bit, you know, you know our, our Reddit hey, community man. has been great, but, you know, they're doing deep it's dives on our gameplay analysis and everything. We've got to got to be careful. Man, what's, uh, what are doing here? What is the Dark Legion like in combat? Who knows? We'll see later. Right. We'll see later. You're, so fight, you're fighting Dark Legion, right? I'm sure I will be, yes. Dark Legions are devious. They will split themselves every time they take damage. So, so I just don't want to deal so with that at all. Real right quick, so, yeah. I think yeah. we also, we have a question from Big Matt Martin sure. on Twitch. Yeah. And they're asking- Big will, M, hit me. <laughs> they're asking, will friendship carry over to New Game Plus? Friendship levels yes. do carry over to Friendship New Game does Plus. carry yes. over. So, and there, there's multiple types of friendship. Um, so there's the friendship, um, that you, uh, you form uh, uh, with your individual heroes. So between mm -hmm. the hunter and other heroes, you can have friendship levels with those heroes. 
Um, and then there's an overall team friendship, okay. you know? So like, friendship is magic. So as you, as you friend <laughs> more people, um, and you raise friendship levels with more heroes, um, then you have this overall team friendship level that rises and grants you bonuses. And so um, both of those will carry over um, into New Game Plus. Oh. All right, so we've got another classic Hulk classic. ability here with his Thunderclap. Yes. Which will stun and knock back all enemies in a line. Because it's been upgraded, it's dealing a little bit of damage. The other thing I should say with Hulk's abilities is because he's so powerful, many of his heroic abilities have a really, really high heroism cost. So you right. want characters who can really support him, like you know, Nico and Spider-Man are pretty yep. good, good choices in this case, since they'll generate a lot of heroism. Maybe Strange but, as well, too. Ooh. All right. And yeah. Doctor, yeah, Doctor Strange is a great choice um, as well. So okay, so now all of those enemies are stunned, so we won't have to worry about them on their turn. I still have a move left. AOE stun. So let's. It's, it's that's pretty yeah. pretty powerful. All right, so let's see if we can shove this minion back. Are you going to wake that Oh, I, you're right. I'm going to wake that yeah. shadow hunt up. That's... But well, you're not worried about that. I'm not worried about it. And he's so, actually... He's an attacking Hulk, so that's Just fine, to explain what happened there. Get... So if a unit is stunned, um, they're kind of in a sleeping state. If they right. take any damage after being stunned, they will immediately wake, wake up. back up. So it, it right. kind of plays into your tactics a little bit. Okay. But yeah, what we're showing here is that Hulk is crazy, crazy powerful. But... So one of the things that we talk about, one of the things everybody loves about characters from the comics is that there's this idea of power scaling. Like oh, characters sure. like the Hulk are just on a completely different level than some other characters like, let's say, Blade, who is amazing and awesome. But in the comics, like, you know, Blade does not want to fight the Hulk. And so what sure. we try to do is make Hulk really powerful, but, but give him um, some... Uh, Shackles, right? That you've right. Got, he's, his abilities cost a lot of heroism. He needs to build up his rage by taking hits. Um, he spends his rage. So you have to play Hulk a lot more tactically. But right. ultimately, if you can get, if you play Hulk really well, he has a, a higher, higher upper level, higher Absolutely. ceiling than some of the Absolutely. other heroes. Cool. I got another question. Right. So Devon Barr. Devon from, Barr, DB. From YouTube. Yes. Does New Game Plus carry over levels? I'd rather be able to start the game with fresh stats, but I would still like Hulk on future playthroughs. Do I have to choose one or the other? So your character levels do not carry over right. in New Game Plus. Friendship right. levels do, but your character levels do not. So if you want to start fresh with Hulk at level one on your roster, same as all the other heroes, then yeah. Yeah, New Game Plus will, will do that for you. Yeah. Okay. So an ability I just used there was Hulk's Challenging Roar is one of his, um, one of his skills that he will taunt an enemy and then gain rage for every enemy taunting him. Oh, so that ends up being that. really good against the Shadow Hounds since it's pretty easy to make all the Shadow Hounds target you and then you can use it to boost all of your, all of your rage. Yeah. So let's see, I'm going to redraw the combo since we used that already. Let's okay. see if we get something else. Uh, all right, well, I've got Seismic Slam here. Seismic right. Slam, just look at the damage value on that. That is gigantic. Holy, so, uh, right. holy lord. Let's, it's very Hulk-like. Absolutely. It is, and you're not even maxed out on rage? <laughs> no, no, that's only three rage. So this will be, all right, well, actually, Gee, wow. do I want to use this on the Guardian? Yeah, man. Yeah, all right, yeah. All right. we'll try to, get, to not get destroy. Him out. Get so him you got to be careful with Hulk's attacks. Now, he destroys a lot of environment. Everybody's targeting the Hulk. Everyone's already targeting him. So and you if you damage him. the Guardian, that automatically, so right. the Guardian gets oh. taunted by taking damage. So that's true. Let's see if we've that's got. That's a lot of damage. All right, well, I've still got my shove here, so let's. Take out. See, when you start looking for your shove, that's when you know you're, uh, you're, you're, you're thinking, thinking <laughs> all right, I, I, I got to take care of myself here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. And we still have some heroism. Let's see if we can take this Guardian out with, uh, with Spidey here in this slider. Yeah. Yep. Ah, no. All right, it's not going to make it. Oh, wait. There we go. That's it. There we go. Got to get one of those knockback oh. objects in the back there. Nice. Okay. Obliterated. So got some Shadow Hounds back. I'll redraw some cards next Two, time. Two, me, wait, three <laughs> measly shadow hounds. Yeah. Oh, and oh, he's, he's got, got counter. counter. The upgrade to challenging yeah. roar adds counter. So Hulk he's is just counter. gonna. Oh, <laughs> this could be it. Uh, this is how you expect the Hulk to play. Yeah, he's just. All right. So there's one. All right, we got a couple more shadow hounds coming in. Real Let's quick, I was gonna know, say. Uh, I, real to, quick, can I? Oh just yeah, go say, ahead, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> what reinforcements show up at this? I'm like, what's the thought is, yeah, process of the reinforcements? Who are like, like, okay, I'll go in. This is a good idea. I'm waiting until. <laughs> okay, now it's, I'll go in. Now. Yes, I'm sorry, Cody. Uh, what's up? Sorry, Devon. There we it's go. It's not right. Devin. It's Devon. 
I just wanted to got it. fix that. So, all right. So we've got Challenging Roar here, and then we'll use Rampage to another one of Hulk's heroics is a chain ability with taunt. So another great way to get enemies to target him. But of course, it's just Hulk smashing through so he's, a ton of enemies here. Oh my lord. So we'll yeah, do he is. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave. So I'm going to leave this minion as a shove target for this elite here. Okay. Oh, I'll okay. take this one instead. Oh. We'll see. Oh, look at those tackles. Oh. See what they get there thrown There we go. Around. Man. Gosh, his abilities are just so satisfying to yeah. play. Our character team did such yep. an yes, amazing they, job. Yes, they look did. how oh. thick that guy is. Dude. He is. <laughs> now, and he hasn't been up front look about what his like supplement regime is. I got questions because like he is oh. jacked. At least you, we know it's gamma based. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's yeah. true. All right. Yeah. So Nico's oh, gonna, somebody has. There's another question from. He's going to close this K out. K man K. 2113. That's a lot of okay, numbers. Okay, 13. Aren't right. you afraid sometimes when you read those names out that it means something horrible? Like, you're like uh, I can, I can I piece, can I can kind of piece me. We just got to call him K Man. Yeah. K Man. All right. Yeah. K Man's go. asking is there, two is there cross bad. save, for cross progression? Cross save, cross, cross progression. progression. Yeah. Well,. If I say yes, it'll be because I don't know what he's asking. I don't, I don't know what he's asking. Cross save, cross progression. He means a cross consoles. Cross, cross save, cross progression. Maybe. I'm not sure. There are, and this is the thing. There are a bunch of people out there in chat now being like, "You idiots! What he's asking is this." <laughs> I don't know what it means. What does cross save, cross progression mean? Let's uh, say absolutely. It was one of the first features we put in the game. Right. So, I don't know. I don't know what cross save, cross progression. So uh, uh, another question came in right. uh, from. Sinister Sandwich. Ooh. Um, oh, I was going to say Mr. Sinister? It, it could be. It says yeah. Sinister Sandwich. So it's the sandwich of... No, it's Sinister Sandwich. Sinister Sandwich. Is it Sinister Sandwich? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's Mr. Sinister. Sinister Sinister here. Yeah, Sinister Sandwich. Um, will Hulk be Bruce Banner in the Abbey? I think Yes. No, just, I think not, they just saw that for a second. Yeah. yeah, he was walking back. They just saw that for a second. Yeah, so they're not going to let Hulk run around and like question was answered. everything in the, in the Abbey. Awesome, that would be awesome though if we had like Grey Hulk or you something. Might, you might see Hulk out oh, in the yard sometimes. Yeah. Hulk, will, Hulk will appear but for no. training, but no, it's just it's Bruce. Bruce will be hanging out. He'll be, yeah, chilling with the other science guys. So the interesting Clarification was cross-console. Oh, cross console. Yeah, on the question, is no. it cross console? I don't no. think so. No. 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 Yeah. Um, so real quick, I just jumped into a second mission here. So that first mission was Hulk kind of common yeah. rare ability just getting right. started. This is now uh, a bit of a more difficult mission. We're going to talk about our end game system in a, in, Ooh, uh, in a minute. Look at that but background. Now, where are you, Joe? Are... You can't say. But well, we're in limbo. Oh, okay. Yeah, I limbo. guess you can say. Yeah. yeah. We're in limbo. So this is this is one of the, the limbo limbo maps. Magic's domain. But now I've got um, a couple di different squad members here. I've got Hunter and Captain America, so also really good support characters for the Hulk, and I've definitely kind of stacked the deck against me. This is going to be a harder mission, and Hulk is now fully kitted out in his Midnight Sun suit, which yeah. looks amazing. So he's yep, absolutely has a Midnight Sun suit and Midnight Sun ability. We'll see if it comes up in this mission, if we can get oh, that to it's happen. it's absurd. But, um, but yeah, so, so this... Real quick before you start. Sure. Um, somebody did ask... Mm -hmm. True wacky, true wacky gamer from Twitch yes, okay. true asked, wacky. "Is there controller support?" Um, there is gonna, controller yeah. support. Yes, there you go. Ta -da! There you go. I'm playing with a controller right now as we speak. Yeah, <laughs> and, <laughs> and what I'd say to that is that um, one of the things I do, and I think a lot of people do, is we have home machines and work machines. Mm -hmm. Um, and so at home, I play on uh, mouse keyboard, and right. at work, I play on controller just to make sure that both feel as smooth. And you'll catch, you know, this was earlier in development, we would catch like, oh, this doesn't feel as good on this setup or that right. setup. So, right. yes, there is, we can say 100% there is controller support. That feature has been in since the beginning. Yes. Yeah. All right, so I've got a bunch of heavy Hydra enemies here. So we haven't seen them in a while, but I've got a Hydra Mystic over here. Oh, nice. A Marksman and an Officer. So okay. I think I want to go for the Marksman first. They are definitely going to be problematic. So Hulk, I actually started with a good combo of Hulk abilities in my hand here. So I can use Smash to apply Stun and then Crush 
will do additional damage if the target is stunned. So oh, this okay. is going to work out oh, pretty, pretty, pretty nicely in my favor here. <laughs> unless Hulk, Hulk doesn't unless start. He can seal. Seal. Unless he yeah. can seal. Well, then no, he's stunned. In trouble. He'll be stunned. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, that's right. So he's not going to do that. He can seal because he's stunned. So I think we're good here. But yeah, Hulk, so I'm doing this. Hulk doesn't have any rage. I did get one rage from Smash. All right, so it's not going to be quite enough damage to fully take him out. But that will get us pretty close. And I think we can still use environment attacks then to finish him off. And that'll be at least a big threat deleted uh, before we really get going here. That will do it. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead. All right, so yeah, this explosive will... We'll while, take them out. While Joe's still going here, uh, Nero from YouTube is asking, how long is the game if you do everything? Oh, gosh. Um, if you do long. everything, and if I was like to say everything, everything, like befriend everybody to right. absurd, I, I don't even know what that would be. That'd be a very, very, very long well, time. I yeah. think if you, let's say if you take your time, you explore all the mysteries on the grounds of the Abbey, mm -hmm. you, you don't oh, wow. rush through the narrative, and instead you take the general missions you need to get all the text that you want to unlock and, and you take your time there. I mean, I, it's e easy, 80, I, I don't know, 100. I mean, if you, I mean, it's, it's a, let's say 80 to be conservative. People take, um, you know, game time seriously. It's a very long game. It can, yes. There we gave um, reviewers like three weeks with the game because of, for that exact reason, because right. we knew how long it was going to take to experience the whole game. Okay. Uh, Riff saw from Twitch is asking, how does the mark status and quick interact? Uh, will you refund one or two card plays if you KO a marked target? You re Great refund, question. You yeah. will refund one. You refund one. So they right? do not. They, they, they do they, not stack. They don't yeah. stack. You can't. If you only spend one card play. You can't get back. Nothing more than comes one from card nothing. Play. Right. 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 We all know our basic physics <laughs> law, right? So yeah, <laughs> nothing. You, if you if you quick, mm. which is always funny because you can get in those situations where. Um, yeah, you don't want to spend a quick on somebody who's marked because right, right. you're not going to be able to reap the full benefit. All right. So this is where I'm going to start feeling oh, some, some pain here. Call to Arms is a pretty fantastic yes. late hunter ability. Uh, and it's, it's a free skill, so no heroism generation because it's free. But it will then let you double your heroism gains for, I guess, for this turn. So I'll, just, I'll use that. I'll be able to crank up my heroism which will be definitely beneficial for the rest of this mission. So, all right, let's see if we can get Cap doing something. I want to focus on this officer next. I think they're going to be... And we saw the mystic. She opened a rift there. Right, so that's going to cause more come out of going to ask about that. She's attacking Cap. All right, so let's... Uh, all right, and he is targeting Captain America, so we'll get an additional bonus there from the mod. Yeah, so again, so... I'm going to give like a card primer because yeah, we probably sure. have a lot of new viewers here. So every hero um, has their abilities uh, and they're represented as cards. And you get to choose what um, abilities your heroes bring into a mission. And then we combine all those three abilities then we deal them out to you um, every turn. And you can hold on to your cards, build up to play these bigger cards that cost heroism. Um, and then you can upgrade. Every hero's abilities can also be upgraded. And that's a really defined path of, okay, if there's, you know, Captain America's punch, his upgraded punch does something very specific. Right. But what a lot of these cards have uh, is mods. And so mm -hmm. people are going to be playing the game in only a couple of days. Um, mods, this is a system that doesn't even come online until probably 20 hours into the game. Oh, okay. But when it does, now you'll start getting these abilities, which you've seen, you know, throughout the game, but now they'll have mods, which are random perks attached to um, the what the card normally does. So all of a sudden it will say, can you look at Merciless real quick to show yeah, you? Yeah, like, absolutely. What are, what is it? Oh, that's just oh, modded. So the it's modded. No, yeah. the heroism is from Cult Arms. I think it's modded for increased damage. Oh, okay. So it's dealing right. a little bit more damage. Than so that's not as interesting of a mod, but you can. We'll show get, some more next turn. Uh, but yeah, there, mods can be something as is is wacky as like if you KO somebody with this card, you will earn concealed, or it'll add life steal to an attack. And what it does is basically, for the back half of the game, you're constantly just redesigning your, your hero's abilities because you'll get a card and it's got some crazy mod and you're like, oh, I got to build around this now. I got to build around this now. And I'll step up a difficulty level because I got this, this mod and it's like making me play on a whole other level. So mm. the mod system, and again, that's a sign of, again, this game is a very long game um, and that system doesn't even kick in until, you know, 20 hours into the game. Wow. 
right. that's what keeps the, there are hundreds of abilities mm -hmm. in the game, obviously, but it keeps the abilities fresh basically for all time. Yep. Absolutely. So I was going to take a quick second um, to go ahead and say happy birthday, Storm and Wanda. Wait, Storm and Wanda? Yeah. yeah. Or Storm it's and Wanda? It's one, it's one person, Storm and Wanda. Oh, okay. Happy right, birthday. Yeah. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Well, get someone's, birthday. hope you get Midnight Suns for your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then somebody uh, from YouTube, Hyper Viper. Oh, that's, that's a good Hyper one. Viper. That's a good name. Does Hulk have self-healing? He does have one ability yeah. that allows him to self-heal. I think I have it in the deck here, so we'll see if it comes up. Um, but yeah, it's not, a, it's not something that he has just like innately in his passive. He does have a special um, perk that he cannot get injured. Other heroes can't get injured. Oh, there we go. Captain America just acquired a mild injury, injury from taking yep. a lot of damage in combat. Hulk cannot get injured. Yep. Um, so, oh, it looks like... Okay, so Captain America is down. Mm -hmm. I think this is also this is on Heroic 2. Yep. So we've right. got a revive avail available. Let's go ahead and get Do you get one up. of those every time a hero goes down? You only get a certain number depending on depending your on the difficulty. difficulty. And so then difficulty. when after this mission, I'm going to play on the... Highest difficulty okay. level, and at that level, um, at, at the ult at the ultimate difficulties, like Joe was on a, I'd say a, a moderately is, hard difficulty. Yeah, Rogue this is two. Rogue it's, two. A, it'll be a challenge. Yep. Um, and you get one revive at this level, uh, and then at ultimate and above, there are no revives. So right. So Jake will have yeah, whatever is no just chance. No squad. wiggle room. I will have no squad. wiggle room. <laughs> All right. I'm so, probably gonna restart the mission a few times. Fine. Okay. So let's keep Hulk healed up here. Oh. And then we'll see if we can get one of his abilities. Also, show off the hunter's cool suit. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. We haven't really shown other skins. The hunter has ten um, skins. Ten tactical skins you can unlock through gameplay. Through gameplay, um, you can but find yeah. some around the Abbey. You can unlock them through gameplay, story some events research. that happen, some yep. research. Yeah. Um, and this one is yeah. Every every skin comes with a cool passive ability, but they they can be decoupled. Right. So, so in I'm this actually, case, you have a passive I'm using from the a, high tech suit. From the high tech suit. Yep. Yeah. Which is one of the early game passive. I think it might be. It's one of the best hunter passives in the game. It right? is. It's in very fact, very strong. In fact, on my mission on Ultimate Three, I'm, you're using the same. I'm passive using that passive okay. because <laughs> at higher difficulties. Its ability to randomly give you a resist at the start of turn it's, is it's very so hard to powerful. beat. So. Absolutely. Okay. Let's. Trades. Something, something, something for chat, really quickly. Yeah. Um, when Jake starts playing, uh, go ahead and drop how many times you think oh. he's gonna restart oh. in in the <laughs> chat. That's a great poll. Come I'm on, gonna try Alice. to throw. He's gotta be believers out there. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I think I'm gonna restart it, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna try to throw oh, the yeah. mystic into our yeah. own. One, one might be fine. Let's see. Oh. Let's see. Oh, feel, there we oh. go. All I feel right. God's blessing on me today. I feel like I can do it. All right. <laughs> Okay. I believe in you too. Thank you. So now, all right. So now we've got oh. two. Inspire is it? I've got an inspire. inspire? Okay, it that's is. Good. So inspire is another very powerful hunter yes. light ability. Changes a random heroic card in your hand to cost zero heroism. And what's for the, the mod turn. on it? Plus the two mod is plus two oh, oh wow! Like, this this deck is a little. It's a little Excellent. stacked. Yeah. So now I've got one of two Hulk abilities that'll go down to zero heroism. Will be a great way to end this turn. All right, the combo. We are doing the whole yeah, combo yeah. again oh, with the hunter. With the hunter, so let's just let's take out who's got the most health left. And just for for chat, uh, when they're looking at these combo cards, do heroes go in a certain order? Is it usually they do? It's always for it's the left hero is the one who leads the combo and will kind of attack the beginning of the end, and then the second hero is the is the the middle. Uh. But both heroes contribute their damage to the combo ability, so. Right. If you buff one hero in combat, if they are dealing increased damage, that will feed into their yeah. combo cards, which is really cool. Okay. okay, I've got one heroism left. Do I have any environment attacks I can use? Oh, I still have my move. Talking about team friendship. So mm -hmm. team, as your team friendship rises around the Abbey, as you befriend others, you earn more combos to bring into combat. But yeah. also, as your individual friendship with heroes is increased, they begin to add modifiers to combos. So uh, if they're part of a combo, they can add special modifiers. Right, so for example, Blade, I think his combo adds, adds a bleeding bonus. Yeah. Or Captain America, when he does a combo, the heroes involved, the, the hero with him, both heroes, both yeah. heroes gain block. Yeah. Um, I think Hulk's is a chance to stun an enemy. Right. Yeah. Um, so each hero has their own individual bonus that you can that, um, that you can gain from, from the friendship. That was good, because it's... 
It's a nice segue into this next question. Oh, okay. okay. From Great. Jamie Bass, Let's our see. boss from YouTube. Wait. Oh, yeah, Jamie Boss, like, like Boss Rutan. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Should I play a little bit with every hero, or is it recommended to just focus on a few? Oh, now, see, this is a good, a good question. question. This is almost philosophical in nature. <laughs> um, however, talking to the guys who designed these heroes. So um, <laughs> the intention All behind right. it, I think, was the way the systems were designed, maximum efficiency will be achieved if you focus on heroes. You don't have to focus on two heroes. I typically would have three or four in my playthroughs besides the hunter that I was like, I'm going all in on these. I'm going to get their passives. I'm going to upgrade their abilities as much as I can. Um, so I would say focusing on a sort of A squad and a B squad of heroes is going to be maximally efficient. But it doesn't, like at the basic difficulty levels, maximally efficient is not the point, right? So if you right. want to play normal difficulty, heroic one, Maximally efficient doesn't matter, and I think you would be fine to say um, to, to focus on a bunch of heroes. But here's the thing. As you progress throughout the game, every mission requires one hero to be brought. Right. So if it's a general mission or if it's a story mission, it will require certain heroes to be brought, and you don't have control over that. And so as you play through the game, you will play with every hero multiple times. Every you, hero is featured in the narrative, in the story. That's right. In general point. missions, you're going to see, oh, I really, really want to get <laughs> oh my gosh, credits. But that, that's a, um, a Nico mission, so... All right, so I, was, I purposely left those enemies alive because I was trying to get Hulk's Midnight Sun ability for the next turn and use that as the finisher. But he had counter because I used Challenging <laughs> Roar and his rage yeah. was high enough that he just demolished them. Look at them that cover. That is an awesome, that is awesome amazing. cover. That I mean, it looks like, yeah. Good. If you All wanted right. to, you could go make the Hulk smile. Do you want to make the Hulk? Well, let's not. All right, but okay. you could make the Hulk smile and... and so I will say now, you know, I got one star. I beat two missions on heroic difficulty, on heroic two difficulty. So maybe redemption from last time. We'll see. I had Hulk on my side, but that went pretty well. You did, you did good. I did good. You are not one star good. guard. So all right. all right. The one thing I do want to mention here, you'll notice one of the rewards here for this mission oh. is a customization option for the hunter. Right. And we have oh, yeah. some so very, very really cool quickly, yeah. customization we'll options. Talk about it. Talk about for, it. So yeah. once you beat the game, once you beat the game, we'll see Jason get his safe loaded up and we'll show you a bit of what the mirror table looks like. Once you beat the game, Transia, which is the last region that you unlock in the game, the missions switch to have a specific level associated with them. So when you first beat the game, they should be at the, the hero level cap, which is 25. So you can level your heroes up from level one to level 25. And the Transia missions will all switch to now become basically level missions. All of the other general missions in the game always kind of scale and flex to your, your, the squad of the heroes that you bring. But the end game missions in Transia are now, um, will be specific for, for those levels. So if you want to bring a level like 20 heroes on a level 25 mission, it's probably going to be a bad time. You'll probably want to grind them up and level them up a little bit by beating more general missions, get them to that max level, and then you can take on the end game missions in Transia. When you do that, the Transia endgame missions all have customization options for the Hunter's rewards. And they're really, really cool. They are a bunch of um, solid eye colors and different skin colors. Yeah. So, you know, if you want to have green skin and purple mm -hmm. skin and blue yeah. skin or gold eyes or yeah. bright red eyes, like that's what you can unlock by beating those okay. endgame missions in Transia. Okay. Speaking of unlocks, Met Force from YouTube okay. is asking, are skins available in the different editions exclusive or can they be unlocked if you only have the base game for credits yeah so the the um the hunter skins are all unlocked through gameplay every no hero has have. a midnight sun skin that is unlocked through gameplay okay um and then we have some skins in the marketplace that can be unlocked with uh, eclipse right. credits so if you buy the um the, the different the higher like tier editions the legendary edition the ultimate edition it all. comes with some of the marketplace skins but those are still available for okay. purchase so we're, but all of the hunter yeah. skins you can unlock with um, it through gameplay with whatever version of the game that you have. Yeah, cool. So, so we're gonna do guard. Or oh, sorry, <laughs> Jake's. Bro, what? Wow. Man, oh. Bring it oh. Okay. You call me. Garth? I said one one star. But Garth is absolutely cackling um, in his office yeah, right now. Yeah, of course he is. I don't know I which you, one Garth. of us should be insulted though, Garth or me. Like, no, <laughs> you guys are cool. Come on, man. Yes, but you're gonna go back to. Uh, gameplay, we're gonna show off this mirror yeah. table. So, yeah. Swap out hosts. All right, here. it's Jake. It's Jake. 
So yeah, we'll get back to the, um, uh, the game cam here. We can show off a little bit of yeah. what the, the mirror table looks like. So now that we, this oh, is- First, let me show my hunter here. So I've got- Oh, yeah, sure. Show off your hunter. I'm proud of your hunter, right? So yeah, you can customize um, the obviously the outfits that they wear, and I, I, I gave her some horns because I just thought, you know, that was the cool. horns are popular. cool. The horns yeah, are the horns popular. are very popular. Yeah. It's Those always fun when you look vibe. at saves from QA or something and look at how they style their hunter. Some of them oh, are yeah. like, what the? Some of them are pretty cool. So and some of them are like, wow, hunter. I'm excited to see hunter. everybody's hunters yes. and everybody's comic books. Oh, we can't wait, can't wait to see them. All right, so, so yeah, so this is what I was talking about. Where if you go to Transy at the end game, you see these missions are now level twenty-eight because of you know this campaign. They must have played a couple, um, a little bit into the end game. So they're all level twenty-eight missions. You definitely need to have your heroes at you know probably maximum level at twenty-five, and then you want your upgraded abilities, your modded abilities on top of that. Yeah. Um, so actually, so the mission that I just did was a level twenty-eight mission. Um, on, it was this mission exactly, uh, the defeat heavy enemies mission at level twenty-eight on heroic two. But now Jake is going to switch back to just a regular general mission. Yep. At Ultimate Three. Ultimate Three. We'll and not only Ultimate Three. So we should a, also like, missions also have and, difficulty levels. Right. Oh, so and so this is a hard Ultimate, ultimate three. three mission. Yes. And so I'm going to be bringing on this mission. My hands are starting to sweat, man. Y'all, <laughs> y'all take like it excuses. easy on me. I, all right, so... Um, <laughs> all right, well, we got magic. We know we you love magic. magic. I do love so. magic. I was always going to bring magic. Always bring magic. Um, who, so, who else is on the squad? So the squad that I'm going to bring is the hunter, um, and then I'm going to bring uh, Wanda. So all right. oh, this is yeah, like my, my late game crew that I like nice. to play with. So I've got, uh, I've got Wanda and Ilyana here and my hunter. Okay. Um, and her name is... Uh, Steve. I don't know. We, the Hunter doesn't have a name. Steve the Hunter. Right. Yeah. Steve the Hunter. Ah! Uh, I've yes. heard of you, The glorious Steve. Steve. Um, so yeah, this legendary. is going to be a very difficult mission. Um, I also brought a combat item. I'm going to refrain from using it until I, unless I really, really need to. Okay. But, but Joe, tell them about that. I mean, it's a legendary combat yeah, item. Yeah, so this is a combat item that is unlocked um, from one of Hulk's research projects. So once you get any hero back into the Abbey, um, a number of research products will unlock that are kind of associated with them, and you'll have gameplay requirements from that hero to complete, and then you can do the research and earn some yeah. earn some things. Where you can so unlock like, your room upgrades. Take or the like, hero on. Oh yeah, sure. The requirements would be like bring the hero on, you know, three missions, or upgrade two of their cards, or craft an ability for them, and then um, and those just kind of are incentives to for players to you know use different heroes to unlock their research projects, and then be able to get room upgrades for the abbey to enhance the forge or the yard or the war room. Right. And some heroes will also unlock new combat items. So one of the very, very early upgrades that you can get in the Abbey is to build a, the item bench is one of the forge upgrades mm -hmm. where you can spend some small amounts of currency to craft combat items that are your kind of consumable, usable resources in combat. And so one of Hulk's research projects, once you bring him back, is the combat item that Jake has on this mission called the Overdrive Serum which is extremely powerful. It is a legendary combat item, so you can only craft it once every couple days, but it will give you heroism equal to the current heroism cost of all of the cards in your hand. Oh, wow. So, so we'll if you play it at the start I... of a turn, it's like you can, it, I mean, obviously hey, the max, maximum heroism is 10, right. Right. but if you want to just fill your heroism bar from and play all of your heroic abilities on a turn, yeah. that is how you can do it. All right, so, so what are we looking at here? All yeah. right, so um, I, this one's going to go, just so you know, if you're watching the stream, this mission is going to go slower because <laughs> I need to go a little slower. The thing about Ultimate 3 is, and I have a really, really nice deck. Okay. Um, and uh, wow. and <laughs> the, the thing is, I, I've kind of stacked in here. We've, all these cards have mods. I do have some legendary abilities. I have uh -huh. um, Ilyana's Dark Child legendary ability, um, okay. the Hunter's Annihilation legendary ability, which Ooh, is super powerful. Dark. Okay. I didn't bring dark Wanda's, um, but I do have really good cards here. A lot of them are modded, um, and that, that really sort of factors in. But here's the thing about Ultimate 3, is that you really can't, even with like this really um, custom deck here and all these heroes, you really can't afford to make mistakes. Like mistakes will just end the mission. So I'll let you know pretty quickly. I'll know pretty quickly whether or not it's like, oops, I'm gonna have to restart. Okay. So immediately, so, one of the things I saw, which is nice, is that I have a ley line oh, that God. does stun. stun. So again, th this is random, right? So okay. what these ley lines do Every time you load into a mission, it's going to be random. So it's very nice to have one that has stun on it because 
the first thing I do is threat assessment. And right. I've got a guardian here. It's absurd hit points, right? The nest yeah. mother, even more absurd wow. hit points. But yeah, I, can't, yeah, I cannot hurt them at this moment. Okay. Um, what I do have is I also have a Dark uh, Legion. The Dark Legion oh. is back. And I'll, I'll tell you right now, if the Dark <laughs> Legion is able to take a turn, then the mission's over. It, it'll okay. be over because at this <laughs> level, what the Dark Legion does is it clones its allies or it clones itself. If it takes damage, it splits itself. The problem is, if you start cloning dudes with like 2,000 hit points, <laughs> I am done. I am absolutely done. So uh, I need to think about this. And resource management as well, like mm -hmm. all of these things, like I have moves, I have redraws, and I got to use them all in the right sort of order to think about this. Right. And so I see here, I got Limbo's Grass. I'm not going to use that, but it does have... Um, on redraw, on redraw game, game block, which is awesome. <laughs> Who's targeting magic? Oh god, they're all a lot of them. All the right. so, so the hounds are all going to target magic, and so that's no bueno. If I could find a way pack. to conceal her or something, but I've got to find a way to take these out then. Okay. But let me tell you what the problem is: how to take these out, and also I want to use the stun probably mm -hmm. on this right Dark Legion, but that means I can't mm. set this off. Right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, you have some knockback abilities. You have quick toss. You have slash. Could I do that have be, quick toss, which is could that nice. be enough knockback to get the? That's that's what region. I was thinking, right? Oh, because it's forceful knockback. So you can definitely okay. reach it, right? And so, so you he, could... this is the thing. Normally, the dark legion will split if right. if they take damage, but they won't if they get stunned. If they get stunned, they won't be able to split. So I'm just gonna have to live with. Oh my god! Even the guardian is targeting magic. magic. So that's too. already. That's bad that luck. Side. That's bad <laughs> luck that so many enemies are targeting one person. Mm -hmm. If I had a way to conceal her or something, that would be great. Right. But I get on, on redraw here, gain so concealed. So Scarlet Witch could gain concealed. Uh, okay. But that's, well, that, that doesn't, doesn't help. help me. That doesn't help you right now. Right. Um, okay. 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 Do you, do you have a uh, side question? Oh, Just this two is redraws. Huge. Oh, three marks for that. What's that? A, qu a question yeah. from yeah. Twitch. Sure. Uh, Dante Hicks. Is so asking, will the season pass characters have any integration into the main story, or will they only be usable in their separate missions? You can use them in oh, the main story missions, yeah, where yeah. there are um, slots for you know player choice heroes. Mm -hmm. if, if not all the slots on the squad are filled up, absolutely, the season pass heroes can fit into that. Um, they will not get integrated into like the the narrative arc that we have um, in the base game for the main mm -hmm. story. The DLC, uh, the season pass heroes, all have they have their own story arc. So each hero will come with a set of three story missions. And they all kind of tie together nicely in in their own kind of unique okay. arc. So it's kind of a new story that runs in parallel with the base. And of course, like the events are related, they tie together. It's all part of you know Midnight Suns, of course. Um, but they will have they have their own separate story. But yeah, you can use them wherever you want. Bring them on general missions. Bring them on narrative missions. Okay. Um, any of the season pass heroes uh, can work there. So. All, mm, right. all right. Ooh, so okay. Got, oh, I got one five. Two count counter block and block. Yeah. Okay. On redraw, gain resist. I really need the block for magic, but I, I don't think that's going to save her. I got I to gotta take these fools out. So you're pretty much assuming that if you ended the turn and all of these enemies attack, magic will get KO'd. She will get she KO'd. Will, uh, okay. And I do not have and revives, and I, you cannot play right. a mission like this without all three here. So let's mm. see if the first turn is the end of me. <laughs> uh, I need to... Oh! oh. That could help. That is that's a game it. That's changer. the one. That's a game changer. Okay. Like just gotta oh, we're back in the game, baby! <laughs> turn one, haven't even played any cards yet. That is exactly <laughs> what I needed. I, that was my last redraw, and finally I got a legendary ability, so... Okay. Let's go. That is Being invulnerable. That will protect her. Yeah. That will be pretty solid. Okay, so this is hey, this is good. So I need the heroism to play that, but I've got right. a lot of quick cards. So I've got you do, and you have some skill cards. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is now, now I'm going to um, start using my quicks here. Um, toss in. Don't forget about the Dark Legion, though. Mm, yes. yes. I got to stun so the Dark Legion him. with my Slash. Yeah. Um, okay. And really, I, I just made a tactical mistake because I probably should have nuked... I probably should have yeah. ta quick tossed this in. It isn't going to make a... That's not a mistake that's going to kill me, but mm -hmm. we'll see. Mm -hmm. All right, so nobody's targeting the Hunter. Um, got bonus one damage more, here. You need your one more heroism for... Dark Child. Right, which right. this will give me. Right. And you will right. take out that minion and with this explosion. Right. Okay. 
So actually, that so, was the right choice. Yeah. So the ley lines, I don't know if we've talked about much before. The mm -hmm. ley lines work. They're they're similar to the explosives that you see in the other maps. Right. Um, but they so you you can click on them to detonate them or toss enemies into them. But because they're magical rifts, if you knock an enemy or if a hero gets knocked back into them, they will apply a, a status effect as well. Okay. So if you just if you detonate them, like the status effect doesn't get applied to enemies in the AOE. It's only if an enemy or a character Collides directly right. hits them. So Jake just used that one to stun the Dark Legion. And I think the two others, okay. the different colors indicate the status effect. So I think the red one is vulnerable, and the green one is weak, and then the blue one is stunned. So this is my choice here. Okay. Um, I, I kind of get a free turn because I know I'm going to use Dark Child. Okay. Right? And so that allows me you to do to a run. little tactical setup. Sure. And so I either use Hexmark, which is not offensive, uh -huh. right. or I use Fortify. I'm going to use Hexmark, right? So this okay. is really powerful. So what this does is it applies three marked to each enemy. Uh -huh. I'm not going to I'm not going to end up using it. Um, not this turn. Not this turn. But if it's three marked, it'll right. last for three right. turns. And so what mark means, Joe, explain what mark means. So to the, mark to the basically kids at home. so so quick is an effect that we have on the cards where if you get a KO with a quick ability, it will refund the card play. Marked basically applies that same um, mechanic as a status effect. So if you KO an enemy that has the marked status effect, your card play will be refunded. Uh -huh. But a great question earlier about how that does that combine or work with quick? You can only refund one card play at a time. So if you use a quick ability to KO a marked enemy, you will just get your single card play back since you only spent one card play on the ability. Uh, okay. um, but marked is extremely useful that abilities which don't have quick, if you use them to KO a marked enemy, effectively become quick in, um, um, with that refund. So I've gained, and this is always something I, I try to do, is like if you have redraws, in, especially the higher difficulties, it's very, it's not typically smart to leave them. So sure. I've gained two redraws here. I'm definitely going to use Dark Child. Right. Um, this puts her Conceal, which doesn't help me too much, but you never mm. know. Like, you, honestly, I'm not going to use Hex Charge here. Uh -huh. Sure. I'm Maybe not. Gonna, well. I, I get a resist on the um, on, on the, the Hunter, hunter which so both is of those valuable. cards have on redraw. Effects. I can't resist. Anything. I cannot resist um, uh, the Nest Mother, but it's good to store that resist. That just stacks True. and stays. So True. I'm going to redraw Same here. Thing. Okay. So I'll get a resist, and I get Banish, which is okay. also useful for the future. But I guess I if you want to save, I, save, I might want to save that because everybody's going to be attacking. Although the nest mother, she can attack twice. We'll see what she does. But we're definitely going to do dark child. So this is all right. So we're going to make it out of this first turn. I think you never know. But here we yeah. go. Right. Um, we're going to play dark child. Well, and you also draw. Oh, I've got a move. You'll draw a magic card with dark child as well, so you could potentially redraw that afterwards. So if you want to wait and see what you draw, you could redraw. Um, got another you could, question. You could try to redraw that. When yes. you guys are ready. You could, um, oh, you could just thinking of my move. So I it, there's you could no go take out that shadowhound. Just right, so I can hunter. just take out that shadowhound, which I might do. Um, and actually, because I'm fully upgraded, I should do that. Because oh, again, we're getting draw. deep strategy. Yeah, because right, right. There's a certain upgrade that's been built back at the Abbey that now, if I knock anybody into my allies, not only do they do a bunch of damage, not take any damage, but they draw one of them. They will draw one of them. So I need to choose, I think I want a Hunter card more than I want a Magic card, so I'm going to choose okay. for Magic yeah. to shove yep. into... So, I have a oh, quick, that's going, which, quick question um, from Kione Sensei from Twitch. Yes. Uh, when we get Hulk and Wanda, will we have yes, enough Sensei. time to Go max... Ahead, What's that? We have enough time to max friendship in one playthrough. It's, if you want to. It's tough. <laughs> it, sure. It's tough. Wanda, maybe you're going to have to play a little bit. You're going to have to slow down the end game because she is middle of Act 2. So, right. um, But of so, course, if you want to invest the time, then you can, yeah, you can definitely get right. her up to, up to the friendship level. All right. So I've got Hulk. I've, I've got, I've got um, Hexbolt. I've okay. got... And what is this one? On, on redraw, redraw, gain one resist. resist. Pretty good. That's, I that actually might do that now. Banish also had the on redraw effect as well. So, well, or you could play Dark Child first, see what other magic card you draw, and then decide on your redraw. That's a very okay. good point, Joe. Very uh, good point. All right. here. <laughs> Dark Child, here we go. Ever. This is a legendary for yeah. magic. And so a lot of our legendaries do a ton of damage, um, but some of our legendaries are more skill-like, and this one is... This one's great because it's kind of a get out of jail free for a turn where it's like everybody is now going to be forced to attack Wanda, but she magic. is invulnerable. I'm oh, sorry, yep. attack magic. She's invulnerable. She's the queen. This she is her alternate persona damage. in the comics. Yep. Um, and she even has counter because this is upgraded. So right. And, and watch yeah. this. So that'll this be fantastic. Awesome. 
Yeah, this is Every kind of the dark like persona of magic, right? Yeah. Demon child form. Mm -hmm. So now. All right, so everyone is taunted. And so we're just going to go ahead and. Uh, and right now. Into, uh, yeah, even so the nest happened. mother. Even the nest so, mother. Right. All right. Okay. Uh, and now I can choose. Yeah. What do you want this one's one marked. All right, so I'm yep. going to give Wanda right. resist because it's always nice to hold on to that. So mm -hmm. I'm going to redraw this. That's true, because even if she's not going to attack this turn, resist doesn't expire from right. a duration. It expires <gasps> when you get Yay! it. Yay! Oh, I got, I got annihilation. Yeah, yeah. And I do have that overdrive serum. Although, I will point out, that's true. Okay, I was going to say, the overdrive serum, because you have a lot of heroic cards in your hand right now. Yep. So you got to hope you draw some, some skills to generate that heroism. I have a question. All right, let's yes. see. Question from the Order of Dylan. The Order of Dylan. Yep, I was a member for many yeah. a day. Yes. <laughs> Can we elaborate more on how the hero combo cards work, how they are earned, and how they spawn? Yes, Joe can do that. Sure. So the hero combo cards are earned from your team friendship level uh, in the Abbey. So as you level up friendship with individual heroes, that will contribute towards your overall team friendship. And you get that. Um, it's pretty early in the game. It's not hard to unlock. You get that to a certain level. I think it's four or six, you unlock um, your first combo card. And then if you keep raising that, eventually you'll unlock a second combo card. Oh, okay. And they will get automatically generated and added to your deck at the start of every mission. So it's just part of being on the squad. It's not something that you have to enable. Um, whatever heroes you bring, those cards will be, um, the hero pairs will be randomized and those will be added to your deck at the start of every mission and you can draw them uh, in combat. The, the, the damage of the combo is based on the combined damage of both heroes involved in it. Um, and I think there's a multiplier on top of that as oh, well. Okay. So that's, how, that's why the combos deal so much damage. And then if, the, if your friendship with the individual heroes is high enough, then you'll get that additional gameplay bonus on the combo ability as well. So, okay. I think they cover all the parts of that. I think I got everything. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get, awesome. Getting, we're getting some more questions. All right. So, so um, how did, here's how the did thing. that turn I can totally yeah. cheese this in a way yeah. and probably use Overdrive Serum, then Annihilate, and then take a lot of stuff out here. Mm, I'm not going to okay. do that, though. I'm going to oh, okay. we'll stick this out a little. I need to move to where I can save magic. Um, ah. So I'm going to set up hex fields oh, here. Oh, magic got bound. Okay. Right. And so I am kind of, this isn't, but I, I need to get magic free. Mm -hmm, um, right. So I'm going to move Scarlet Witch here, and then I'm going to play Hexfield. I'm playing a little looser here, because I really do need to focus on that Dark Legion. I'm feeling maybe a little oof, confident, but I feel good about um, playing my Hexfield here and seeing okay. what I can do. I'm not going to take out these hounds yet. They won't be taken out yet. But magic is free, so you can mm -hmm. use her abilities again. Right. Yep. Okay. Oh, and I got a combo. And that's not going to be enough. So sometimes with the Dark Legion, you may have to split them um, right. in order to then uh, take, them take them out. I don't know that I need to do that yet. One mark. No, they're marked, actually. They're marked already. Oh, they're marked already. Yeah. This is beautiful. OK. So oh, these are marked, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I can just go off here. I can actually go off a little bit. Um, but I don't want to I want to use Annihilation. Um, so we're going to see here. Mm, I don't think so. The gonna, problem, let's see. I'm with gonna with Hex, this. yeah. Hey, Joe. Because Hex Charge isn't going to do enough. To, oh, that's pretty good. That's yeah. a lot of heroism, though, if you want to save that for, anni um, yeah. for Annihilation. So Patience is a really fun card because it deals massive damage, yep. but the heroism cost is really high. But it reduces by one every turn it's in your hand. So the longer you hold on to it, the cheaper it becomes, and you get a, can eventually get a very, very cheap, very powerful. Attack. So real quick, yeah. is it possible to just keep playing grinding or grinding general missions to get full friendship with all heroes in one playthrough? This sure. is from sure. Ramir. Sure. Absolutely. Yep. Ramir. If you people if you ask want this to. a lot, and yeah, yeah. Yes, if you, you want to, you sure. Can. And then please play our game for 100 hours. <laughs> and then is amazing. on, on that more. on that same note, um, with the season pass characters, uh, mm -hmm. will they be added to the Abbey? Yes, uh, absolutely. Because uh, Salamander absolutely. King on Twitch would love to hang with Eddie Brock. Absolutely. A lot of people hey, oh, would like yeah, to hang no. with Eddie Brock. Yeah, they'll we have, will, we will they'll be have full hangout soon, capability. They are just yeah. as fully implemented. In fact, they're more fully featured than some base game characters because they have three narrative missions that are unique to them. Every single DLC hero. So right. they... 
They right. have a lot of story, and they're telling their own their story own in addition to the, the base game. So, right. But they can be used in the base game whenever you want. They unlock yeah. really early. So, And Eddie Brock in particular is great to hang out with. His story is, you know, we, we have fallen Venom yeah. in the game, and his story kind of uh, ends right. partway through the story, and then the DLC kind of picks up where that leaves Come off, on. and you really get to hang out with Eddie and feel and learn about how does he feel about everything that, that happened with one. Lilith. Um, you know, of course, Peter Parker gets involved. So it, it's really fantastic. But yeah, all of all of the DLC, all the season pass heroes are in the Abbey. So. All right, so I'm going to do something here. I'm okay. going to use Unleashed, which is going to um, heal my Scarlet Witch. Um, but more mm. importantly than that, I'm then going to, after I use Annihilation, I'm going to redraw this ability, which is going to conceal her, which means I don't have to worry about these hounds. Shadow hounds this turn. Because oh. they are going to attack... Now, ooh, Guardian's going for the Guardian Hunter, but let's hunter. let's just see what happens here. Right, because okay. we can see that the Dark Legion is going to attack. Right, I'm Magic. I'm playing Unleashed not because I want the un, the the area well, bonus, but I get the heroism right. that's going to boost my annihilation. So one, so the re, the heal effect is actually on the redraw. Oh, no, oh, I'm Wand, playing. I'm sorry. I'm going to conceal you, so it doesn't matter. So okay. I need that heroism boost right now, sure. and I don't want to use that item unless I absolutely have to. Yep. So and this is still a good ability because now if you get ability. more Wanda cards next turn, right. um, her AOE will be her AOE radius will be boosted. Okay. I'm about to do something with the hunter. Can can players that, change? That'll do it. All right, uh, here we go, baby. So annihilation is extremely <laughs> powerful because its damage just scales for every heroism that you spend on it. So it will it will always consume all of your heroism, but it will deal more damage based on the amount of heroism that you spend. So playing with right. one heroism, sure, you want to play with like. And Harrison or Jason play with seven here. Right. Very, very powerful. So I'm going to redraw to put Scarlet Witch in concealment. So okay. now those Shadow Hands have nobody to attack. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a great thing, too, is Annihilation is also modded and it applies weak to the Hunter that's going to be attacking me. So that's also very, very helpful because the Guardian, or oh, to, to the, the Guardian. guardian. Yeah. Right, right. So now okay. we are going to. Uh, Try okay, to lay take this. out that Dark Legion. Right, there we and go. The Guardian's going to take a ton of damage as well, so that's great. And I love this. Oh, I love yes. this ability. I have it's a question amazing. about the hunter. Sure. Uh, Jeffrey Delaney on YouTube is asking, can you change the hunter's weapon types? You yeah, can you can change them. The so each one of the hunter's tactical skins... By the way, skins... the Dark Age was marked, which means... Oh, so you got your card, card play back. Right, okay. so why I'm not? I, now, I can't kick trap door, so I can throw marked on somebody. Right, I don't think he'll be able to... Oh no, he's not protecting anymore. So yeah, he's not protecting anymore. I could actually put... But so marked isn't going to help me on somebody with that many hit points, really. Right, because it's only marked for this turn. So I really... But they're already marked. Though they're already marked. That's fun. I could also turns. just kick the Guardian into... Into the Nest Mother. Although then... Will that taunt then the Shadow Hounds? No. Because she's going to call close ranks. Because she's going to take damage. Oh, right. Man, I'm right. sorry. We're getting real deep here. No, but you can't mess good. up on this ultimate three. So, so if you Nest deal mother... direct damage to the Nest Mother, <laughs> right. she will use an ability called Close Ranks, which means all Lillen, Lillen attack, will attack the person who just hurt me. And if I did that, then I would have wasted the fact that I put Scarlet Witch in concealment. So I can't do that. So uh, all I can do here is Trap Door. The Guardian. Trap Door the Guardian. Just, and that's fine. That's fine. We can and we'll throw down. him... Somewhere. Take him for a little trip. It's not going to matter because... He'll move anyway. He'll move right. anyway. But this ability yeah. is cool. Yes, it is. And... Get he some! Off Gordon, goes. take a trip! <laughs> there's, 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 there was a card there, and Show it has a little guardian. star on the top of it. Yeah. What does that mean? The star means that it's, the card has been modded. Oh, okay. So the gold border around the cards means that they've been upgraded. And then the star shows that they have a mod applied to them. And so this is the weird thing where I'm avoiding attacking the this beast with 2200. So use the objective. So if I don't... you defeat the Nest Mother, you win. That's it. Right. All you have to do is defeat the Nest Mother. That's all but... you got to do. And I got patience there waiting for her. But yeah, mm -hmm. she's, she is very powerful right now. Ooh, oh, okay. no corruption. Looks like magic's going to survive. So that's good. See what the Nest Mother's gonna do here. She's gonna. Oh, she's summoning her. Right. So summoning she's. Her altars. So this is where it gets gnarly. Oh. Um, but then it's also. Oh boy. So like a lot of things. All right. So let me tell you right now. This is one of the ways this could now, even as well as we're doing, this could go wrong, depending on what she just summoned. And we'll go take a look. Um, 
So what the nest mother does is she summons these altars, as we call them, mm -hmm. um, and she can turn them. Oh God! Oh, oh, oh. that's that's not great. That's definitely not great. Do you have the cure move up grade from the yard? Could you cure that? <gasps> oh, oh wait! What's, yeah, what's, okay. what's, yeah, what's, yeah, yeah, what's, yeah, yeah, what's, yeah, what's, yeah, what's, what's not good? Okay, cool. Let's explain what just happened and what we're what we're discussing here. So the, audience the was monument. Asking. So the nest mother summons all these little altars. And they actually can be pretty useful because if you destroy them, the nest mother will take some damage. Right. But she has the chance to convert them into monuments, which are the bigger ones. So she's got that purple one that she made there. And each of those, they gain a lot more health, and they have some kind of generally bad effect for you as the player. Either it'll apply some debuffs to the heroes or apply some bonus Buffs. to the enemies. Okay. So that monument is the Monument of Affliction, and it applies a random debuff to a hero at the start of their turn. And Jake got very unlucky there because it applied Confused to the Hunter. Oh. Which means that the Hunter is now no longer in Jake's control, for this turn at and least. Could potentially. And will could potentially use any of their abilities on your own ally. So the Hunter is just confused, oh. they don't know Yikes. who they're targeting, Sometimes we don't know they, what they're going to do. Sometimes they'll still help you, sometimes they'll it'll help. help. But Joe's right, but I need to immediately... Especially confused, on this difficult. Yeah. yeah, so Confused will fire off when I, when I use ability, so I need right. to immediately cure. I need to uh, immediately okay. use my move to cure her. Right. So similar to Shove, one of the upgrades you can build in the yard, Shove is one of them where you can spend a move to knock back an enemy. You can also then uh, build a second upgrade that is spend a move to cure an ally. Okay. So it's great to have in your back pocket for situations like this where you really need to get bad of a bunch of, you know, of debuffs or negative status effects. So now the hunter's not confused anymore. We're safe there. But we have um, so, we have these altars to deal with as well as the real monument. quick, Joe. Yeah. I think uh, the person who asked the question about the hunter's weapon types being yes. changed. Uh, can you repeat that one off. more time yes, for them? Absolutely. It's uh, Jeffrey Delane. Yeah. So the hunter, every one of the hunter's tactical skins that you can unlock through gameplay comes with their unique weapon pairs, and you can freely mix and match any of those weapons uh, between any of the suits. So similar to how you can choose a passive independent of the suit that you're, you're actually wearing, even though they're kind of unlocked together as pairs, same thing with the weapons. So if you unlock you know, the high-tech suit or the borderline suit, and you want to use those two weapons along with the default, you know, the default hunter suit or the midnight sun suit, be our guest. I think that's some of the very, very fun combinations you can get, because some of those, the swords that the hunter earns uh, with those suits are very, right. very cool. Got it. I am, um, no what problem. is the, uh, what has he got? My gosh, my he eyes are terrible. protecting. Uh, what's his um? What's his block? What's the his block? His block is two o one. Okay. Um, what I want to do is I've also got a stun. Oh, over the stun here. is back. Stun is back. That's the other thing about the ley lines that is very useful is they regenerate after a couple turns. So, the, right. so you know the New York missions, you've got explosive barrels on New York City streets. Why? We don't know. It's a video game. But the ley lines, um, the ley lines. So when you explode a barrel, they're gone. It's a physical object. It's not coming back. The ley lines, since they're these mystical explosive rifts, they will regenerate every couple turns. Oh, okay. So we're playing some chess here. So Jake is going to use his magic portal oh, wounded too. to oh, point God. it towards. I need a the heal ley line. so bad. Um, but I do have chaos field, so I'm going to play this, and this is a really powerful ability. Um, and what this does is that if heroes end their turn, although I use Near my weapon. move. That's true. So maybe some careful ability positioning. Yeah, I used my move. Mm. If, if heroes end their turn near Wanda, they get a resist, which is absolutely huge, and they right. get healed. And healed. Yeah, so I need to find a way to do, I must find a way to do this. I have, this. A, Wanda near I have a question. Well, two, it's two questions. I'm going to ask them at the same time because sure. they kind of play into each other. Okay. Um, but the first question, and I'll, I'll say them, and then you guys can answer. So the okay. first question is from Synchro Champ. This is, what characters do the team think have the best interactions? And then Midnight mm. Son of a Gun is asking, what are Joe and Jake's favorite hero team-ups? So heroes with the best interactions, that's, I don't know. I mean, all of the heroes can work pretty well with one another. Generally, the heroes that have super high heroism abilities don't play well together, right. but most other squads I think you can make pretty viable. So like, I would not, for example, suggest bringing the Hulk and Ghost Rider and Captain Marvel all on a mission together because they all just have very expensive high heroic abilities that it's not going to go so well. 
but I think you can craft ability decks in a certain way that a lot of squads are, are viable and can be really fun. The mission I was playing earlier, Captain America can normally be a really strong tank, but you can also build him to be very supporty. So in the mission that I had, Hulk and the Hunter and Captain America, even though Hulk and Cap are both kind of tanks, I had built Cap to be more support oriented. So they can, um, so yeah, I think a lot of the heroes can kind of serve those du dual roles and support each other in, um, in unique ways. Okay. But, but who do you, you know. like putting together? So I, mean, I can actually talk about this now because we revealed yeah. that Hulk's in the game. I can talk about my favorite <laughs> squad. So I really love, if, I mean, the Hunter can fit in with any squad really well. Right. Depending on how you build your Hunter, they're very flexible. Mm -hmm. I really like the Hunt, um, Doctor Strange, <gasps> Captain America. What'd you get? And oh, Hachi Machi, that's okay. what I needed, mama. <laughs> <right>. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna come back to jail room. All right. <laughs> come on now, Daddy needed them shoes, baby. That's what I needed, them Christmas shoes. Oh, come on. Boy. I told you the Lord had his lies on me, man. All right. So I got just what I needed, which is Inspire. So Joe, tell them why this Inspire is so great. All right, great. so we saw Inspire a bit earlier. Inspire changes the cost of a random road card in your hand <laughs> to PTL, zero for the baby, turn. PTL, baby, PTL. And yeah. it is free. So we know that this is going to either make his hero combo or patients free. Both are extremely high damage abilities. I'm oh. sure you're very excited because you know what enemy you need to use that on. Yeah. And it's going to give us redraws. So this is just a huge, hugely powerful card for Jake right now. Oh. All right, and hit Patience. That is the highest damage ability probably wow. in the deck right now. Yeah. Um, and it's a critical strike, you can tell, because the sword damage icon is on fire. So ah, that, that's okay. an indicating it's critical. So it's going to deal even a little bit more damage. Now the question is how to spend these redraws. Because what I want to do is true. Patience down this big old rock boy over here okay. and then kick him into the stun. Well, with Patience and Kick, I think is enough to KO him. Even yes. without the knockback, so I don't know if you want to save the... Oof. Or kick... Uh, you could kick him first and then use Patience on the Nest Mother? Yeah, but then I lose, that, I lose that... Uh, oh, you can't, you, you can't, you can't kick, knock, you can't knock him back while he's protecting. Oof, oof. oof. Come on now. Check. Hmm. And I gotta get rid of these... Well, these actually... gnarly wolf boys over here, so... You could... You got your three card play still. Yeah. And Patience is now zero heroism. Yeah. So you could play Patience on the Guardian. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Then you could use the hero combo. Come on, talk to me, Joe. To <laughs> finish him off and then use Kick to stun the Nest Mother. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's that nasty. Very, I like it. Very methodical. It's going to be a bit of an overkill for the wow. hero combo. Now, the problem to is, these, out the Guardian, is these, these shaggy demons, right? That's They're true. both targeting They're magic. magic. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, so and I'm she, getting excited. All right. And, she, oh, and she's wounded, so she'll take damage when you use the ability. Mm. Oh yeah, but that might be. I think she'll, she should survive. I don't know. She might not survive that turn. If I but could, I think, if, but now if I kick one of these, if I kick uh, Wolf Face, I could get in the range of her resist, which we used Unleash on. And that's true. That's true. All right, we're gonna patience down, gonna Rock start. Boy. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna KO. Him. Oh, it's gonna oh, awesome. All that okay. talking, all that talking, and we just should have been kicking. Oh, That's wait, what wait, I say. Just less you talking, more you are kicking. One damage over. He's got eight hundred and five with his block. At least you right showed. Now. There's so Perfect. many options. Yeah. to Like approach these yeah. situations. Okay. Yeah. So now on ultimate, there are fewer options. On ultimate, yep. you kind of got to... Right. Okay, so we gain one resist. Oh, that is huge. Okay. That so is now huge. You could choose to. But that's not really who I need. I need to protect magic. Okay. So, so you could... Real, real quick, Shin. Mm -hmm. Real quick. Uh, the Section 7, and it's N7, uh, so I think it's like a Mass Effect, Mass yeah. Effect thing. But sure. they're asking, can we have streams in the future with Jake beating the game on the hardest difficulty? They are really entertained by this. Beating the game? Beating <laughs> the game on the hardest the difficulty? Game. They want to see you beat the game on Full the hardest difficulty. That takes, you realize how long this mission's taken, they, man? I, it's too, yeah, it's too, yeah, it's too entertaining. They have faith Should I in let, so I can't, I should probably stun her. Okay. Just, I don't need her making more monuments. I don't know, right. beating the game. Right. Let's see if I can beat a mission. <laughs> Let's see if I can beat a mission, man. You seem All like right. you're doing good. Um, I got two card plays. I got this hero combo. Once right. I stun somebody, I can't, hmm. I should hero combo. Okay, where is this going to put Scarlet Witch? If I hero combo. It depends on who you attack. Because she's magic, the, she's I the worry. lead. I worry about magic. Um, I can hero combo out one of these dogs. Right. Scarlet Witch can stay near them. 
And I probably should redraw chaos field and just take my chances. Hope I get a nice roll. I told you the Lord has his eyes on me. I feel it today. <laughs> if I if I redraw well, chaos field. Scar Witch gains resist from that. So well, she's not being attacked right now. So yeah. she's well, maybe we have to just fight it see. out. Let's see. This. Oh, okay. Quick. Plus one well, moves this turn. Oh, I need mm, that move, but I can, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I can I can't yeah. soul slash. Is it gonna spend my portal? It's gonna spend your portal. Because I could use back. that soul slash on an altar. And I would That's gain a move. True. And I could use it on an altar near Wanda. That shouldn't. But it's be. gonna wound me. It will wound you. I I'm don't wounded. think it will consume the portal though, because the the altars can't get knocked back. But if I use two cards, will she survive? Uh, well, go hover over her. It'll say it should say how much damage she'll take. She'll take sixty-five damage, and she has two hundred thirty-eight. So yeah, she'll survive. Okay. She'll survive okay, two okay. abilities. All yeah. right. So we can do this. I'll get a move. I'll. Yeah. But I'll, I'll kick first, and so I need to use this. So I, then I can move, and I'll kick her, and I'll be right next to the hunter, and I'll move Scar Witch over to her. We'll get the resist, we'll get the heal. Okay, big oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. oh, big daddy, lay it down. Here we go. Hero okay, combo. Sorry, sorry. Um, we're going to hero combo this fool. Which one of these should I hero combo? They both have the same. Yeah, they're yeah, exactly the same. Right. All right. I love this combo too. I love yeah, this combo. Scarlet Witch has a great Scarlet Witch has a great one. Like, it's fantastic. Nasty. Okay. All right. So now her and the hunter both gained another resist, so they are more protected. Oh man. So I hunter is two resist. Now we're not res three. We, we are not protected from That's the true. Nest Mother. That's so she's right. a super villain, super as villain. we call them. So if you're fighting a super villain, you cannot resist their attacks. You can't right. knock them into a drop. But we're still in good shape here. What I'm gonna do next, I've got to use on KO draw a card. I'm not gonna be able to use that. Um, right. Soul. You're looking to stun the nest mother. I've got this. Just make sure I'm not doing anything out of order here. I could use this to get my move because I'm gonna use that. For, it doesn't matter. I think. I at think this you point. just to be safe. You should probably do kick first yeah. to make sure that that knockback uses the portal. Yep. Although, I guess we wanted to think about your positioning for where magic is going to move and then where do you want her to move? You want her to move next oh, to Scarlet Witch. I want to end up, no, I want to end up next to the Hunter, which I do, and then okay. I'll, I'll move Scarlet Witch over to them. Oh, because you'll oh, get wait, a move. Oh, wait, I don't have resist. I didn't cast it, did I? I don't you, know what I'm doing. All right, you this, have resist. The Hunter and Scarlet Witch both have No, resist. I'm saying I don't have the, um, I was thinking about Chaos Field. I was thinking about casting Chaos Field. I don't oh, know what I'm talking about. Wait, I can't do that. Um, I'd redraw that thing. Okay. What's her? Other, what's Scarlet Witch's other status effect then? Uh, she's got resist. She's got unleashed. Unleashed. That's it. Okay. Right. That's okay. fine. That's fine. That's okay. Fine. So we don't have to worry about the movement as much. But we'll get the Nest Mother stuck. We're gonna draw. Well, no, we're not gonna draw a card because we're not gonna KO the Nest Mother. But I just. Right. Her not creating another. Oh, you KO'd even. an altar over there, so that's good. Oh. That she'll take some. She'll take some damage. Oh wait, for that. then I will get a card. I will draw a card because I KO'd something with that ability. I should get a card. Yep. Oh, there you go. That. Okay, so now you've got another got portal. Sight, so you nice. could. Oh, you could use Last Sight on the Nest Mother because she's stunned. Although that will wake her up, and I don't think it's enough to KO her right now. No. Nope. So that's okay. So that's. I really risky. need to. What I'll do is use Quick, and then I'll lay down. Oh man, these are all gonna wound her. Do I oh, want to lay a that's portal? Right. No, because the portal. Probably not. Yeah, the portal would wound her still. All right. So let's Soul Slash. Look at these tall, rocky points. We're gonna take out <laughs> this. Immune to knockback, which is fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine because I'm dealing damage. This is right. modded to deal damage, which is, you know, yes, yes, immune to knockback, but right, that's good. So, if, oh no, god damn, oh, what did I just do? I just woke up the death oh, mother. Oh, because uh, you took damage from KOing it. Uh oh. Sweet Wait. mercy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think I might have. Okay. I might have really. Mm. I might have really hurt myself here. Oh no. Oh no. You got your move back though. Oh no! But you, well, you don't, I had you her don't stunned. Mm. She's gonna make another monument, and this is gonna go down not so sweet. All right. Well, I'm gonna use last sight here to take out the wolf. We're still in okay. I think you're okay. I think you're okay. We're if the okay. nest mother is the only enemy left after this, right? Yeah. Is there one more shadowhound? It might have been that no, 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 no. No. no, no, this is it. So I think we're yeah. okay, but she's gonna monument out and whatever. Oh, okay, hunter's concealed. Yeah. So That's I don't good. care about her um, using taunt, uh, taunting oh. everybody, so I can at least shove her into her own monument. Take that, huh? Sure. sure. It's a false right, god, magic, and she needs to... 
She needs to fall. Well, okay, doesn't so do at least a, damage, a little bit of damage. That's all right. I could also shove her through. If I set a portal, I'd shove her through. You'd shove her through to hit, the, to hit the altar? It would wound me. I could shove her through right. into one of these bad so boys. That's nah, true. I'm just going to shove her without... I don't want to take more wounding damage. So okay, do this. yeah. So what, what heroes are you most excited for people to play? I know it's, we had that other question about who you guys like to play together. But also... In I, I'm really excited to see how people build their hunters. Oh, uh, build okay. hunters, yeah. yes. Just yeah. because the hunter can have a, such an interesting mix of abilities, they have more abilities than any of the other heroes in the game. Mother. It'll be really interesting to see their combinations. This is a great ability, detonate, all right? Mm -hmm. So detonate allows me to blow up, um, right? Yep, yep. This is gonna wound Ooh. her, and this is gonna blow up. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Everybody's in the... I'm gonna take a chunk out of that monument, too. Right. It doesn't, because it's upgraded, it doesn't hurt your allies. It's, oh, right. it's gonna take uh, out some uh, of her little altars. Where is your false god now, Ness Mother? <laughs> Kadoosh! <laughs> so detonate will tar target an explosive, Mama and then with double damage and radius, and because Scarlet Witch is unleashed right now, that increases the radius even farther. Oh, yeah. So she's taking damage because we blew up the Because we the altar, and because she was hit by the ability. Oh, man. Got a nuts. Got, nuts. got hex charge. All right, I don't have a redraw because I could get concealed. All right, that's fine. I've got one. Oh, I... yeah. That'll oh, work. Yeah, oh, you're yeah. going to get stepped on by okay. Mama Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that uh, oh. a couple characters I like playing with other characters are Doctor Strange and Nico. Yes. I'm you really, like support really then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh corruption. 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 Okay. All right, so magic, Magic's we got to move now. Magic, so magic died of corruption and also, or got KO'd of corruption, and uh, she also spread it to, to Wanda. Wanda. And, and the Nest Mother. Bad, bad, bad. And, uh, and another, okay. another Which monument up. did we get here? Please don't heal. Please <laughs> don't be warding, actually. Okay, okay. Cursed. She's, she's cursed. Oh, that's awful. Oh, oh, it's it's oh. <laughs> exactly okay. what I couldn't have happened. Well, the Ness Mother just took her corrupted damage. Right. Yes. So that, so she's pretty weak right now. So if you can get through the block, that's it. And she's standing right next to a ley line. Yeah. And you, all right, I've inspire. got Inspire, which is free, so I'm going to play you, that. You always well, play a free card, right? Do you so, want to redraw things first to try to get another? Yeah, I should. Because Hex, Hex Charge might not be the the heroic card that you want to be inspired. I've got heal, which I was really waiting on because I really need that for Wanda. True. Hunter is and that will draw a bunch rolling. Of cards. Marked is great because you can use it on these as well. Mm. I don't know if her area. Oh, it's not. It's going back down. But right, um, unleash. Oh, she's going down. I feel like she's going down. I feel like that's why it's going down. I feel you something. Could quick, you could quick toss into the ley line, and that might hit the. Alter as well. I could, it's already quick. You're right. But that will take. Already dropped some heroes now. I've got Inspire, and then we've got Hex Field. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. need to do that so much, but I need to. I think you need a. You need I need more a quick damage. toss her. Yeah. And that's gonna not yeah. cost me anything because right. it's gonna yeah. take out. Take altar. out the altar. It's gonna do a decent amount of damage. And we'll give her debuff. Oh man, oh it is it is all Wanda all the time. She is saving us on this one. You got a, you got a hashtag going, Jake. Do I? Yeah. yeah. Which one? Believe in Jake. Oh, yeah, believe in oh, Jake. Right. I thought it was gonna be Mama Wanda, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't search that hashtag. Um, believe, okay. and she's oh. vulnerable because I knocked her into that thing. All right, so we discarded hex charge because Wanda's cursed. Oh. So ah. when so oh, God. a cursed hero. Uh, Whenever they play an ability, we'll discard a random card from your hand. Right, so I need so, to not mess with Wanda anymore. Unless um, you're very sure of what you're doing. But in, we can't do Inspire anymore because we don't have a heroic tar right. card to target. Hexmark doesn't matter to me anymore. Um, I need to okay. redraw this. Right, you just need damage. I need some damage. Give me some. Okay, me some, last slide's pretty good there. Something nasty. But you could also use heal first, and I if you overheal, that will draw cards. Oh, that's it! That's it. Last that's sight. it. Last sight. Okay. Last sight. The hunter closing. You know out. what? This is where I get arrogant. I'm gonna take oh. care. Of, I'm gonna take, <laughs> take care of Wanda first. Take care of Wanda first. Okay. Right, you know? Heal her up. Magic's just it's taking the knee over there. Yeah. She's, she's, she's all right. Team, teamwork. Mm, look at the smile. What is? There we go. It's good to have friends. Okay. It is. Yes. It is. Good to have friends. 
Um, so you still have your move, you still have... Right, can't use that, so I'm gonna redraw that, obviously. Right. Just to see what my options are. This is in the bag, baby! Saying okay. stuff like that gets you in a lot of trouble. But, uh, <laughs> sure. Well, you could you, you could move Wanda up and hex field, and then follow up the last sight. To, but then it would discard. Could oh, discard it could my discard last sight. Last cursed. All right, we're mm, just gonna do okay. this. Let's end the mission here. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you for joining wow. us. What's up, Jake? Ooh, I got a little. Woo! Here we go. Here we go. All right, everybody. Let's do. I feel like we should have like some sort of cheer or something like that. But okay, here we go. Last sight. Last sight. Overkill. 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 Nice. Done and it. there it is. Excellent work. Even, Jake even Solomon on ultimate three, even ladies even and gentlemen. Yeah. Nice work. <laughs> One star. Two, Two stars. Oh, star. oh, 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 wow. Even with a KO? Four <laughs> turns. That's amazing. Okay. And that's a good... That's a good picture. That's a good picture. The American Warriors. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've said this before, these are randomly generated comic yeah. covers, so even those phrases are put together from like, the, this, mixed with the war, so it could be the American Revengers or whatever, so. Oh, oh. Ooh, 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 man, I feel juiced up, I feel gacked out, let's do it, <laughs> all right. Um, Fantastic. Yeah, all right, all right. All right. Good stuff. And I'm never so, going to pay yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I, so had, I did, did have, it. it was funny because, uh -huh. I told you guys this, I was doing an interview this week, and, and the person was like, so are you waiting for the game to come out before you play it? And I was like, what is it you think I do here? <laughs> I was like, no, I've been playing this game You've continuously game for, for two years. I start, I and I play through, and I beat the game, then I start over, and I play through, and I beat the game, and I start over, and I play through, and beat the game. So, yeah. oof. Well, so, you never beat it on Ultimate 3, though. I yeah. know. No. No. Yeah, no. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, the game is releasing again this week, Friday, December the 2nd. Yes. Uh, go ahead and go to marvelsons.2k.com. Midnight Suns. Midnight Suns, sorry. Midnight Suns. 2k.com. Uh, get all the information. It's kryptonite, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, and, and go ahead and see, you can still do pre-orders uh, to get those awesome pre-order goodies. Yeah, uh, and speaking of pre-order goodies, there's a little guy sitting behind me right here. If you pre-order, you true. get one of those. That's a GameStop. Yeah, right? it's a GameStop um, exclusive. You get yeah. the so, yeah. Midnight Suns Iron Man Funko Pop, which is extremely yep. cool. Yep. So go check out your local GameStop for that. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe we're we're finally here. We're yeah, days enough. away. Those, and those it's those are with the physical copy, the physical legendary. Copy. That's right. Legendary physical edition. copy at or GameStop. enhanced. Yep. 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 U.S. and Canada only. Right. Okay. At GameStop. <laughs> Oh, that's good. All right. Um, so I want to say before, oh, before yeah, we wrap, yeah, sure. mm -hmm. I want to tell everybody uh, I love you guys and goodbye because this is my last live stream oh, uh, for a while. Okay. Because um, post launch, we want to get more people in front of the camera. It's, yeah. Joe is going to, the excellent Joe is going to be driving most of the time, but we'll get more people in front of the camera to play. And we'll have awesome stuff post-launch. We'll have lots of cool streams. We've got all the Season Pass heroes coming up. We're super excited to start showing you some of their gameplay. You know, Deadpool's first up uh, early next year. And yeah. yeah, we're super excited to show more about that soon. So yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be back and showing off their gameplay and seeing them in the Abbey and everything that's coming with the, with the DLC. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with the yeah, season pass. Which is, which so. is the DLC's coming soon. Yeah, love you. Absolutely. Yeah, Daddy Jake soon. loves you. And I uh, hope to see you out there soon. Everybody get Midnight Suns December 2nd. Play it. Post your comic book covers, post your yeah. hunters. That's the kind of stuff I want to see. Absolutely. Yep. So, so we're we're gonna we're gonna end it, and we're gonna leave you off with the final prequel short, oh. um, okay. yeah, which is Nico TV. You guys just can check yesterday. that out. And oh, yeah. again, you know, don't forget to follow us on social media. Um, subscribe to the newsletter. Uh, go to the website. Get all the information there. Um, and thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, it everybody. Fun. It's been great. We'll see you soon. rely on Doctor Strange alone. We'll need to form a team. Our first candidate is Ileana Rasputina, or as she's known by the X-Men, Magic. I'm no hero. I'm not looking for a hero. I need 
a midnight sun. Eric. Sarah? I am putting a team together. I'm in. Just like that? Just like that. So, what are we hunting? Like you're enjoying Xavier's school. Glad you finally got to meet one of your heroes. Uh, as for how I'm doing, that's complicated. Magic barely comes out of her room. The only person I've seen her speak with is Wanda. She's slow to trust. Blade needs to himself. It's different from Magic. He doesn't want to get close to any of us. Uh, he's really homesick. Gabe! How's it going, little bro? Caretaker said he talks to his little brother every day. I'm the youngest one here. The others, their abilities are just so cool and freaky. And I'm just some rando with a magic stick. Then, Molly Hayes, that's when I thought of you. You were the youngest of the runaways, but you always found a way to bring us together. Uh, Wanda said you like weird candy. And when you set your mind to something, you never gave up. But more than that, you were our heart and soul. Better. Hey there. You wouldn't mind if I organized, like, a Midnight Suns movie night, right? For real? So, yeah. I don't know how I can contribute to this team. Not yet, but... You know what? None of that matters. I don't need to be the best. What I can be for them is what you always were for us. The glue that keeps this team together. And that's more than enough for me. So, now that I made you blush, I gotta get to sleep. Blade likes to train early. So, love you, Malls. Sorcerer returns home. Already, the power of the Sanctum returns to me. Your days of plundering its secrets end today! But that was never the plan. Now. Yes, Mother. No! We're losing her! Doc, come on! We have to go! <clears throat> 
believe if you must. I can hold it like hell you can. The sanctum is gone. We did everything we could, and it still wasn't enough. We need to plan for what comes next. What's next? Armageddon has already happened, caretaker. What's next is hell. Lilith's darkness has been released fully into the world, expected to fall city by city, nation by nation. Surrender. Or be destroyed. I am just getting started.